hello 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 thank you so much guys for tuning into this video now for today we're gonna be looking at the k53 test paper 8 now i do understand it's a, a new year now we are in 2024 so i just wanna wish you a um, happy new year and a prosperous new year and in everything that you're gonna be doing and in everything that you're going to be i wish you all the best now i also wish you all the best in your studies right for that k53 exam now in this one we are going to be looking at the k53 test paper 8 i surely do hope that you were studying some of our previous questions so that you can get a better understanding of this so do remember that these test papers are downloadable right you can just go right ahead and download them right links are right there in the description below also do consider subscribing to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you find much value from it so for this video we're gonna be looking at the test paper 8 so before wasting much time let us begin so number one says what does this sign mean so looking at this sign right is it a ferry ahead is it a main road ahead or no through road so now when looking at this sign right you imagine yourself this is the road that you are moving it and when you see this red uh, strike here it means that the roads probably end here so this one means no through road so uh, that's the answer for number one now let's look at number two so as you can see there is quite a noticeable difference between these two uh, signs the one in number one then the one in number two now just by looking at this you can see that um these signs are quite different so when you see this sign right what does this mean is it a no through side road is it a left turn or bridge ahead well uh just by looking at this this is the road that you're traveling at right here where my pointer is this is the road that you're using so um so this will probably be a side road and when you see this red uh, strike here it probably means that the side road ends here so what this sign means is that no through side road so this one is our correct answer now I hope you can quite see the difference between the first one and the second one, right? So probably these ones are incorrect. So I'm just going to strike these ones too. And also these ones are also incorrect. So guys, I hope you are finding much value from this. Remember to give this video a like if you are finding much value from it. Now number three, abandoning a traffic vehicle as a mark of protest or agitation or any kind of strike in public places or any other places causing obstruction or inconvenience of the public or passengers or other users of such places option a the driving license is liable to be suspended or cancelled b only fine is attracted c legitimate right of driver now my question to you is this is it a legitimate right of the driver to abandon their traffic vehicle is a mark of protest or agitation or any kind of strike in a public place so as to cause obstruction or inconvenience to the public or passengers or any other users of such place or it's definitely not the legitimate right right and it does not only attract a fine so in these cases the driving license is liable to be suspended or cancelled so the driver of such vehicle can lose his license right now let's move on to number four carrying overload in goods carriages option a legally not punishable b only fine is attracted c can attract suspension or cancellation of driving license oh, so carrying overload in goods carriages can attract suspension or cancellation of driver's license so number three is correct and these ones are also incorrect here right now let's look at number five the driver of a taxi refusing to offer genius for the reason that the distance is short option a can attract suspension or cancellation of driving licenses b only fine is attracted c none of the above so definitely none of the above is incorrect because um is either one of the two right so uh the driver of a text cannot refuse to offer the journey just because the journey is short 
or this distance is short right so that offense can attract suspension or cancellation of the driver's license of that taxi driver so this one which makes this one incorrect right so that's correct answer right let's move on to number six the sign represent option a pedestrian should give way to motorist b motorist should give way to pedestrian c pedestrians prohibited now what does this sign mean is it pedestrian should give way to motorists is it motorists should give way to pedestrians or pedestrians prohibited well definitely it's not c i can tell you that right so we are only left with these two or oh, i submit to you that motorists should give way to pedestrians now this one is our correct answer here b right so when motorists see this sign it means that they should give the right of way to pedestrians now moving on to number seven the following sign represent now looking at this sign right is it a narrow road ahead is it a wide intersection or road widens ahead now uh, when you look at this sign you are moving from a wide road to a narrow road right so it definitely means that narrow road ahead so it, yes it's not a wide intersection and definitely not road widens ahead because here we are moving from a wide road to a narrow road here right so we are moving in this direction right so from a wide road to a narrow road so i really hope you not be confused about that right we talk about a road widens ahead sign we'll definitely talk about that in our next video so do make sure that you don't miss any one of those videos now number eight when you reach an intersection where there is no traffic light or policeman you will option a give way to traffic approaching from the intersection from other roads b give proper signal sound the warn and proceed c give way to the traffic approaching the intersection on your right side and proceed after giving necessary signals so here you reach an intersection right and there is no traffic light or policeman to direct the traffic so what should you do you should give the right foot to traffic that is approaching from your right side and only proceed after giving necessary signal so this one is our correct answer option c so yes these ones are incorrect here number nine the following sign represent is it overtaking prohibited is it tunnel ahead is it your carriageway ahead now looking at this sign we have two these two cars here as you can see these two cars are going in opposite direction but one of the things that we need to pay close attention is this arch here this arc here so this definitely means that this one is a tunnel ahead sign right so this one is a tunnel ahead sign so these cars are in a tunnel right so it's not an overtaking si prohibited sign so this one is incorrect and it's also not a dual carriage where i had sign right let's move on to number 10 while you are approaching an intersection where the yellow signal light is blinking you should option a is there is no restriction proceed at the same speed stop the vehicle and wait for the green light to appear see slow down the vehicle proceed only after ensuring that it is safe to do so so here you're approaching an intersection and the yellow light is blinking here right so let me underline this so what you should do is you slow down the vehicle and uh, proceed after ensuring that it is safe for you to do so so guys that's the end of this paper i really hope you have enjoyed it if you have any questions regarding any any of the topics or any of the questions that you just discussed in this paper just write them down in the comment section and i'll be sure to help you the best way i can so thank you so much guys for watching consider subscribing to this channel if you want to enjoy more of these papers and more of the discussion right so thank you so much guys for watching until the end now remember this paper is available for download if you are interested in it so thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye